Hello everyone. Welcome to another Snack Size Rev GD video. Uh, in this quick video, I will go over uh, how to implement full body VR inverse kinematics and uh, using one of the freely available plugins uh, with it. So I will share link to Marcus video that goes in detail how to implement VR body uh, IK inverse kinematic. So I'm not going to explain all the steps. He has done a great job explaining all of that. What I will cover in this video though is what changes you would need to make um, uh, on those steps to implement or adapt it to to the VR extension plugin. I will provide the VR extension plugin link in the, the video description as well. Uh, this plugin is helpful for a lot of features that otherwise you'll have to implement yourself, like grabbing items and then um, handling the VR body movement. <clears throat> Some of things you can, of course, implement yourself, but having this library means you don't have to worry about all those things, uh, implementing yourself. Uh, I followed Marco's video to implement the same thing on uh, on a maximal character without using the VR extension plugin, but there was one issue um, with that implementation, and the issue was that if you have your Oculus HMD and um, and in the in the game when you're moving around everything looks good, but while you're seated or standing up, if you just move your head, not your body, if you just move your head, uh, let's say backward, then you can see the back of your VR character. So the body of VR character doesn't move. There are uh, different ways to handle it. Um, as for uh, my research, either you have to implement the tick event for the character in the tick event, you will uh, check the camera's current and the previous position if it is above a threshold, let's say five centimeters move movement within, you know, like, or you're checking every frame, so it's like 30 frames or 60 frames per second. So you will move the character body. So that should help with that issue. Uh, but again, like there is no point of reinventing the wheel. We will say all these things are um, already implemented in the VR expansion plugin for you. Because not just this uh, body movement is handled properly, but also some networking features and item grabbing and throwing, etc. And Locomotion is implemented in that too. So um, let's get to the chase. The first thing in the Marcos video, he's using the mannequin that comes with the um, Unreal. In my case, I downloaded this character, Warrior character, that I'm working on um, another um, project of mine just for testing purpose. So, so I decided to use his technique on this Maxima character. So there are some changes, uh, there are some differences that I will go in the next step. But first thing first, you have to create your character and you have to drive it from the VR character or VR expansion plugin. Again, uh, VR expansion plugin reference will be in the video description. You can download it and it explains um, how to create the default character. What you have to change is the you have to move your character up or down to adjust it properly and send the tracking origin, etc. The standard VR setup. Now, in the Marcos video, he is moving left uh, left motion controller and right motion controller under the skeleton mesh, and of, of course, there is some scene components, etc. So this uh, list on the left side. This is the standard VR character. Uh, so I did not add any component. I did not make any change. So, so you just have to leave it as it is. You don't need to move move this motion controller and the mesh or anything. So, so that's one thing. So, if you're using the VR extension plugin, 
you can skip that part of the uh, Marcus video. You can jump on to the next important part where all the magic happened, that is the animation blueprint. So uh, I'm not going to explain uh, all these steps. All, uh, all of this is very well explained in Marcus' video. I did not change anything. What I changed is, only thing that I changed, I'll just mention them quickly. One is about the bone name. So for mannequin, it was, I believe, hand underscore R for right hand and hand underscore L for left hand. But in case of Maxima character, this, this is right hand. Same thing, right shoulder, um, you have to find. So these, these are the two changes uh, that I had to make. And um, another change is about the X rotation of your left hand bone. So for mannequin example in Marcus' video, he had to add 180, 180 rotation for left hand. But for the mixed demo character, you don't have to do that. So just the Z rotation, this is still the size, 180 for this value. And um, uh, that's it. So once you make these changes, you should have your character working flawlessly without any issues. So let me put on my VR headset and I'll quickly show uh, how it looks. Okay, so I have my headset on and let's start. Okay, I'm bringing the level. Okay, so so these are my controllers and you can see it, it shows the hand movement properly. If I twist my wrist, my hand, I can move it. I can move these arms up and down. It's, it's not 100% perfect yet. There might be some more changes need to be done, or maybe the skeletal has to be like the mannequin skeletal that has more bone. But this is pretty good. I can see my arm moves up and down. And uh, besides that, if I go and the other thing that I mentioned, if I lean back, I don't see the back side of my character's head or anything. It's just, I can, with the end, I can be moved, I can see my character's moving backward too. And if I look down and see the, the movement, uh, so these are the steps, I can see walking, this walking animation is working perfectly fine. I turn around to see the shadow. So this is the shadow. You can see that everything looks perfect. And and all the animation and the motion controller, everything is working perfectly. So that was the just quick tidbit I want to share with anyone else who was also trying to implement it. Uh, hopefully this was useful. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.